Hey, hi, good morning. Hello, good morning. Okay, so I got your feedback for the first round of discussion, and this is going to be your final discussion. And in this round, I am going to evaluate you based on your coding skill. Okay, so this will be your final round of discussion. So can we start? Uh, yes, we can start. Okay, so I will provide you a string, and what you have to do is you have to remove all the occurrences of a given character from that string. So let us consider cloud tech is a string. And you have to remove C from that particular string. So you have to remove all the occurrences of C from cloud tech. Can you do it? Yes. So I'll, I'll copy the input that is given by you. OK. So let me write uh, the main method first. All right. I'll play, I'll uh, paste uh, cloud tech and I have to remove C, which is at first position, and then uh, C which is at second last position from this string, right? Yes. Yeah. So the easiest thing I could do is uh, I could do uh, sysout and str dot, I'll use inbuilt method, okay? Replace all occurrences of, uh, I'll make this as uh, capital C, uh, occurrences of C uh, with empty space. So I'll try to, here you can see uh, it is, uh, C is removed. <clears throat> uh, yes, but you are using the replace all method, which is uh, by default or inbuilt method. Don't use the inbuilt methods. Okay, so you don't want to use inbuilt method and uh, then I have to write my own logic. <clears throat> yes, okay, correct. so let me try to write my own logic. <clears throat> I'm going to uh, create a public method, which is again going to be static because this is going to be called from my uh, main method and it is going to return a uh, void <coughs> and the uh, <coughs> name of this method will be uh, remove char and this is going to accept uh, two things. First thing it is going to accept is your uh, string str which is going to be your input string and the second uh, parameter will be a character which you want to uh, remove from the input string okay so let's try to uh, write the implementation of this so the first thing we are going to do is uh, get the length of the string so integer uh, n equal to uh, str dot length this will give me the length of the input string now uh, i'm going to collect uh, the new string that is after replacing the character into into uh, into a new string so let's try to uh, declare one more string string uh, final str i'm going to initialize this with uh, empty string and then i'm going to iterate over my original string which is str so let's try to uh, iterate over this for uh, integer <coughs> i equal to zero i is uh, less than n we already have gotten the length of the string and uh, we are going to do i uh, plus plus so while iterating uh, through this i'm going to check uh, what are the characters and if it is present to your uh, the input character so let's try to check that if uh, str dot uh, caret i i'm going to go through uh, each character in the string and check if it is uh, not equal to this and i'm going if it is equal then i'm going to replace it so let's try to do that if it is not equal to c in that case uh, just try to populate your final string with that character so final string equal to final string uh, plus str dot care at i so what we are doing here uh, we are just trying to uh, skip the character that we want to replace. So in our case, uh, the input character will be C and the string will be cloud tech. So whenever I encounter a character which is not C, only those characters I'll be populating in my final string. So uh, from line 13 till 17, I am performing uh, this logic. Now, uh, the next thing is I'm going to, uh, final string will contain all the characters which are uh, not C. So I'll print this, this out and uh, final string okay 
now i got my method ready i'll call this from my uh, main method remove character string will be my str and character to remove will be my capital c okay. so i think uh, the logic is there uh, may may i run this remove here what is the problem string you need to pass character this string okay so this is yeah ch equal to single quote c for example and i'm going to pass ch <coughs> okay <coughs> now i'll uh, i'll uh, may i run this program yes you can run it so you can see uh, the character c is replaced from your cloud tech okay perfect uh, now i have another uh, problem statement for you so what you have to do is you have to compare two arrays. So while comparing these two arrays, we have to make sure both the arrays contains the same elements. If both arrays contain same elements, then you can print something like both uh, arrays are same. If both arrays contain different elements, then you have to print something like both arrays are different. Uh, the position of the elements is not going to matter. So it can be anything. Okay. Okay. So, uh, is there any input for this uh, provided by you? Uh, yeah, you can check something which is provided in the chat box. So, I have provided two arrays. Okay. Uh, let me go to, yeah, I see something. Uh, I'll write uh, the main method first and within that main method, I'll uh, paste your input. So, there are two arrays, ARR1 and ARR2 and the problem statement uh, is I need to compare if two arrays are same, but the order does not matter. So I have to just compare the elements in ARR1 to the elements in ARR2 and check if that element is present in both the arrays. Um, if the length is same and the elements are present uh, correctly, in that case, two arrays are same. Uh, am, I, am I right in saying this? Mm, yes, correct. You can do it. Okay. All right. So uh, again, I'll uh, write a public static method. So uh, this uh, method is going to compare uh, two arrays. So it is public static. It is going to be a Boolean. It will return Boolean. Uh, Boolean specifies if uh, if two arrays are equal, then the Boolean will return as uh, true. Otherwise, uh, this method will return as false. So I'm going to uh, make this as R um, equal. That means to uh, uh, arrays are equal or not and um, the parameter it will take is uh, two arrays so integer uh, arr1 comma integer arr2 so these are the two parameters uh, that uh, this method is going to accept now the first thing uh, for two arrays to be equal is their length must be equal so uh, let's try to get the length uh, of first array into n so i'll take arr1 dot length and uh, integer uh, m equal to arr2 dot length so if the length is not equal uh, in that case uh, definitely those arrays are not equal so uh, integer m equal to arr arr2 uh, dot lengdh what is the whether the primitive arr does not have a oh so it is integer i need to take parameter as uh, array okay now it will take length so these are the two lengths uh, n and m so the first condition is if um, n is not equal to m that means the lengths are different in that case definitely i'm going to return false these two arrays are not equal that's that is the thing i know after this what i'll do as uh, the elements are not ordered, so uh, year three is present first and uh, year three is present at the second position. For this reason, I have to sort both the arrays. So I'm going to use the utility method uh, for this. Arrays uh, dot sort. Uh, there's a method which takes in an array and sorts it. So ARR1 and again, I'm going to sort ARR2 as well. Uh, now, uh, both, the, both the arrays are sorted. That means uh, the sorted array being contained the ordered element in ARR1 and ARR2. And now I can compare uh, the elements from array1 and array2. So let's try to uh, compare uh, this using for loop. 
for integer i equal to uh, 0 and uh, i is less than n and i uh, plus plus why i am taking n because i know uh, when when i come at this location uh, line number 23 n is equal to m so i can either take n or m because both the arrays are of uh, same length in this what i'm going to do i'm going to compare each element of array one to the element of array two and if both the elements are equal uh, then if the both the elements are not equal then i'm going to return false if the element is equal then i'm going to perform the next expression so if arr one if arr one of uh, i is not equal to arr two dot i so here i'm making uh, sure if two elements are not equal that is that means uh, the element in arr one at position zero if it is not equal to arr uh, element of arr2 at position zero in that case i am going to return false because then i definitely know these two uh, arrays are not equal so return false and uh, after this for loop uh, if the control comes at line number 28 then i am pretty much sure that two arrays are equal so here from here i am going to return true so this is my logic for comparing two arrays uh, now let me check i'm going to do if condition and r equals uh, i'm going to call it and uh, if uh, this returns true then i'm going to print as advised by you uh, two arrays are um, equal else i'm going to do this out two arrays are two arrays are not equal so this is important all right so may i may i run this program <laughs> yes please yeah so run this program uh two arrays are equal as you can see can you modify the content of one array yeah so i'll modify i'll add one element first six uh, so the lengths are different so okay these two arrays are uh, not equal and uh, now i'll uh, make it same length and just modify the content as advised by you uh, three two five eight i'll run this so these two arrays are not again not equal so they are again not equal okay perfect fine uh, i'm done from my side do you have any question uh no i don't have any questions thank you okay thank you bye 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 bye